All right, Coach McCain. Um, good, quick off the course today. A little bit more impressive in the doubles. Talk a little about doubles starting out tonight. Well, I think uh, you know we talked a little bit yesterday that we were a little rushed before we went out to the doubles. Um, there was some confusion about the time of the match and how much time we were going to be allowed to, to warm up and whatnot. So we just told the girls last night just be ready to ready to rumble in like ten minutes or less, and they were ready. And they were a little hacked off about yesterday too in the doubles, so that helped. Came out with a little fire. Definitely. Um, then in the singles, it was it was business as usual. Another uh, uh, Vanja, another big match. Mello, money as usual, and, and Ellis. You know, those are your three big wins. Yeah. Talk a little about that, that, that those matches. Well, starting with Ariel, she um, you know she struggled last month. She's had a few tweaks and, and uh, a few things hurting hurting her, and she's had to have a lot of. We've been joking around about the fact that she's. Uh, had more work done on her in a 48-hour period than a, a Yankees starting pitcher, but um, she's uh, she's doing really well and she's withstood a lot of the, the bumps of freshman year and uh, she's ready to put in a good performance this week and she worked really hard in practice and it was nice to see her get back to form today. This is the first time I've seen her perform in about three weeks, three four weeks. So. And, and Mello, I mean, Mello has just been great for you the last month yep. and uh, talk talk about how just how nice it is and comforting it is to have that. You know, at the end of the lineup. Oh, it's great. I mean, Maggie turned a corner when we played Baylor here the last time. She was down a set in 5 0 to Stanova and came all the way back and beat her. So, um, you know, that's pretty heroic efforts, and I think that really helped her to be confident, and she's been on a roll ever since. And, you know, even when she loses a few points here and there, you can just see that she's going to get right back on it. Do you, um, you know, thinking about tomorrow, you've got Baylor or AM. They're up in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, doubles point, they've won the doubles point and they're up in the singles. Um, how does your team prepare for something like this tomorrow? Well, we've seen both teams this year, so you know, that's nice. We know their lineups pretty well. Um, you know, we're just looking forward to a good fight. Um, obviously, it's nice to be at home playing, but there's no question about that, and we're looking to really take advantage of that. As far as a, a freshman like Ellis, this being her first time to run through this, how do you handle her and you know getting ready to, to compete this many days in a row at, at this level? Well, she's a seasoned player. I mean, just because she's a freshman, she's incredibly experienced. You know, she's she's done very well at the national junior level and, and you know satellite pro tour level. So, um, you know, this is really not that big of a deal for her. It's not an adjustment at all. Um, one last thing. Um, two weeks ago, it was rumored that you actually won a long drive competition. Yeah. <laughs> Talk a little bit about your, your abilities on the golf course. Well, my, my philosophy on the golf course is very similar to that on the tennis court. I just want to hit it as hard as I can. You know, I don't really care where it goes, but uh, it works out in golf every now and again. And, uh, you know, just had that motivation. I, Chris Plotsky hit that long drive before me, and I just, I just wanted the boss to know that, you know, I was right there with her, and I got a little lucky and just... Rolled it right past Could her. you have played on the golf team at Stanford? No, I didn't even golf when I was at Stanford. <laughs> I didn't take it up till my junior year. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Appreciate it.